we have some new developments for you following an online gaming dispute uh, that went way too far. Yeah. Police have arrested a 25-year-old man in Los Angeles for an alleged deadly swatting hoax between two gamers. Swatting is something that's really gained traction with online gamers, and here's what it is. Someone makes a prank call to police with a false report of some sort of ongoing crime. It could be anything. The hopes are to draw officers to a particular address, an address that perhaps of somebody that they think They're playing has done them with. wrong. Yes. yes. So, but in this case, the suspect in Los Angeles allegedly called police in Kansas and told dispatchers he shot his father and was holding his mother and a sibling hostage. I'm just pointing the gun at them, making sure they stay in the closet, my mom and my little brother. Okay, is there any way you can put the gun up? No. Are you guys sending someone over here? Because then I'm definitely not going to put it away. Okay, I'm just going to go ahead and stay on the phone with you, okay? That's fine. Until they get here, or? As long as you need me to, okay? Yeah, I'm thinking about, um, because I already poured gasoline all over the house. I might just set it on fire. Okay, well, we don't need to do that, okay? In a little bit, I might. All right, so police showed up at this house in Kansas, surrounded the house, but when 28-year-old Andrew Finch came to the door and police say he moved suddenly, an officer fired a shot. Finch did not have a weapon, and he had nothing to do with this online gaming dispute. Remember, this was an address that had no one who was involved in the game lived there. Well, now his family, outraged understandably, Reporter Angela Monroe from our affiliate KWCH has more. Andrew Finch's family is angry. He was shot by a Wichita police officer as they responded to a call on false information. They did not warn him. They did not say anything to him. He opened the door and they shot him. Andrew Finch's mother was in the house when her son was shot. We sat with her as she watched the conference and disagreed with parts of what they said. And I'm not letting go until I have justice. Lisa Finch says her son was never given a chance before police shot him. This is his blood. They were given the story that there were hostages being held here and that people were in here dead. It was a swatting call, a false call meant to bring SWAT to a scene all because of a video game dispute that had nothing to do with Finch. The family has a message for whoever made that call, too. You're a murderer, and you're an accomplice, and you killed a wonderful man. We have, this whole family has lost a wonderful person because of your selfish... Finch had two young children, and we're told he was all about his family. Um, I would like them to remember that he was, he was very loyal, um, he was faithful, um, and he was caring. The Finch family continues to want answers after the unarmed man was shot by police on a bogus call.